I'm Chris Dilger, one of the founders of the Swinburne Leadership Hub. So the hackathon today, I think we're going to see a lot of ideas thrown around and I really hope that um, after today, we can take some of the ideas uh, that come out of it and go back and, and create some new programs um, and really start to change the culture around leadership um, in Australia and get more people involved. I'm really interested to hear what solutions people have for changing the status quo. I think how we break down barriers to opportunity and to platforms for expressing different ideas and perspectives is really important. So I'm looking forward to the ideas that come out of that uh, the hackathon. The first day of the hackathon, we looked at the current state of leadership, where leadership um, is going in the world, in the context of the future and a digital 4.0 world, AI. So we looked at the tensions in leadership, we surface some of the underlying concerns about leadership and day two today is what we're going to do about it. How can we bring the best of people from, as I said, all corners of the community to coalesce and come together to make statements or to have insight around what leadership needs to be in the future and what some of the interventions are that we can have to make that a reality. We need to talk about the deep, real challenges that we're experiencing in our time. We need to talk about ecological collapse. We need to talk about social inequality uh, and wealth inequality. We need to talk about the issues that we push as something that are, is out there and then. And we need to talk about it because it's in here and now. I think the ideas that have been raised in the hackathon do reflect what discussions have been happening at a social scale, which is that there is a lot of frustration around how leadership models can evolve, should evolve, may evolve, and what that means for individual responsibility. Look, it is the constant issue of questioning what is a leader, that I think, and I almost stopped there because that is such a big topic and it's so hard to answer that in one or three words and it really is a process to go through. And then the people around us who came up with their own visions and versions of what that then led into and the different areas that needed to be addressed in that context. Um, and also from my point in life, I'm at the end of my career, at the end of all of this, hearing people at younger generations also talking about what was interesting. That to me was the highlight of the day. There's great energy and enthusiasm and will to explore and to experiment and to figure out what we should do next. And there's a great comfort with just experimenting and knowing that no one has the answer and that's okay. And so we all of us are thinking together about what pathways we could embark upon together to discover what leadership could look like and should look like in order to renew Australia. Coming together, a group of diverse people coming together and actually building um, some programs and projects that we as the hackathon contributors, Swinburne and, and Menzies, um, can either invest in or support or help grow, seed, nurture, um, but allow people to determine for themselves um, what they would like to see by way of change. Um, and it certainly, it hit that mark today, really pleased with how it went. Australia needs outstanding leadership. Everybody has a role to play in that. And the hackathon, we hope, is an important contribution to the individual's journey in that regard, to the impact they have on their communities, and to the impact, ultimately, that Australia has in the world.